welcome back to another interesting tutorial. If you're new here, you're welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, you're also welcome. So I'm going to show you how to cut and sew a classic gum sleeve or a square sleeve. I have this damask fabric I'll be using, cutting lining, hair stay, basic sleeve pattern, and hard clean only. The aim of using clean linen is to help support the sleeve without falling with time. You can as well use bony. I will also show you how you can fix your bony on your sleeve. So let's get started. Because I'm making an exaggerated sleeve, what I did is to use my bicep, uh, round bicep measurement and I multiply by 3. So my biceps, my round bicep measurement is 13 inches. When I multiply by 3, I have 39 inches. 39 divided by 2 will give me 19 and a half. Can you see? Remember that the fabric is on fold. So the length of the sleeve I'll be working with is 13 inches. So the next thing I'm going to do is to place my pattern by the side of the fabric. Can you see? And I will take the measurement of the excess fabric, which I have at 10 and a half. So I'm going to mark that 10 and a half. This will enable me to know the exact amount of fabric I'll be pleating or gathering. And I also know where my basic sleeve starts from. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to shape the sleeve. So I will notch that part I mark earlier. So I'm going to use my main fabric to cut out the lining. So if you are using boning to support your sleeve, the hemming allowance you're going to leave is going to be one inch, okay? So you're going to hold your lining and your main fabric this way, close by one inch, okay? When you're done closing by one inch, you open your fabrics this way. This is how you're going to open it. This is your main fabric. Remember, you have closed this part. So the allowance of one inch, you're going to push it towards the lining side, can you see? Then you sew very close to the edge of the allowance. That is the stop stitch. Very close to the edge of the allowance. Thereby creating a channel to pass your bone in. Can you see? So this is a channel you end up creating for your bone in. So you're going to insert your bone in inside that way. So that's that. So I'm going to go over to the machine so I can show you how to turn the hem of your sleeve using clinoline and your lining. So before I hem my sleeve, I'm supposed to iron and interfacing on it. But because I'm working with a very thick uh, fabric, I won't be doing that. But if, you're working, but if you're working with a lighter fabric, please, please iron and interfacing on your main fabric and on your lining so that you can get your desired results. So I'm going to have to close the side of the clinoline because it's quite sharp. So this is the other side. Let's see. So this is how I'm going to place the cleanoline, the main fabric first, then the lining on top of it, then my cleanoline. So I'll sew by 0 0.5.
So I'm done sewing as you can see. The next thing I'm going to do is to push the allowance towards the lining side and I'll top stitch. So I'm done top stitching as you can see. So this is it. Can you see the right side looking very neat? You can see that the cleaning is relaxing very well. Can you see? Can you see the lining side? Can you see? So the next thing I'm going to do is to open up my sleeve this way. Lining to lining. Lining facing lining and uh, main fabric facing main fabric. Can you see? So the next thing I'm going to do is to close by the allowance I left. I left a uh, one inch allowance, so I will close the side and I will come back and show you what to do next. So I've closed the side. The next thing I'm going to do is to turn the lining in. Try and open the seam so that the side will relax well. See what I'm doing? Can you see? So the next thing I'm going to do now is to go and run a gather stitch so that I can gather the top parts. You can as well pleat yours if you choose to. I held the lining and the main fabric so round it so I can close the top parts before running the gather stitch. So I'll go ahead and gather my sleeve. So I'm done gathering it as you can see. So this is the inside, can you see, looking very neat. So I'll go and pin it on my mannequin so you can see the look. So this is the finished look. Can you see how the sleeve is standing with the help of clinoline? I think clinoline will give you a better result than using boning. Can you see how beautiful the sleeve is looking? Thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video. Bye.